Let's see number four. It says, how do I rank the following compounds from lowest to highest boiling point? So we have calcium carbonate, methane, methanol, dimethyl ether. This is number four. So we want lowest to highest point point. So we have calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3. We have methane, which is CH4. We have methanol, which is CH3OH. And we have dimethyl ether, which is CH3OCH3. So highest boiling point immediately off the bat here is the ionic compound, which is going to be the calcium carbonate, right? Because this guy is ionic, so therefore it's going to have the highest boiling point. So we can put CaCO3 all the way as the highest boiling point. This is going to be number one. And next, how do I rank the other ones? So all these guys here are, are uh, organic compounds. And when it comes to organic compounds, we care about the internal molecular forces that exist in those compounds there. So um, the stronger the intramolecular forces, the greater the, uh, the boiling point here. So let's look at CH4. So CH4 here, in terms of intramolecular forces, there's not that many, and there's actually only one here. And the one that exists here is the London dispersion force. Because I don't have a dipole, um, I don't have electronegative difference between carbon and hydrogen because they're pretty similar. Um, and I also don't have hydrogen bonding here. So this is definitely um, uh, only London dispersion exists here, which means it's actually one of the weakest forces in, in, in intramolecular forces, which means it will have the lowest BP. So I can safely put that this here would be number four. Finally, I have to compare these two guys. So I have methanol here, and then I'm going to have um, dimethyl ether. So what we can do with methanol is if I'm looking at the structure here, I have an oxygen here and a hydrogen here. So I can immediately off the bat, I can say that I have hydrogen bonding here because I have the pres it's, I have a presence of a hydrogen connected to oxygen. Again, hydrogen bonding only exists with um, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So in this case here, we have um, we have hydrogen bonding because hydrogen is directly um, bonded to the oxygen. We also have a dipole-dipole because um, the electro there's an electronegativity difference between oxygen and carbon, right? There's a vast electronegative difference, which means this guy is going to be partial positive and this side is going to be partial negative. So this dipole is being created, um, therefore having a dipole-dipole uh, uh, force here, which means this is going to be my second uh, uh, highest boiling point, so CH3. OH will come in second, which means CH3OCH3, sorry, comes in third. So if I were to rank these guys here from highest to lowest, this would be number two, this is number three, and this would be our the ranking for those compounds here. Um, dimethyl ether only contains a dipole dipole, and it does not contain hydrogen bonding because the hydrogen here is not connected directly to the oxygen. If I were to draw di uh, dimethyl ether, you would get something like this. And you can see that the bonds here are not connected to uh, hydrogen here. So it's not directly connected. So you wouldn't get hydrogen bonding here, but you'd still get dipole dipole based off the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. So this would be dipole dipole. So this would be the third highest boiling point. So this is how I would rank my boiling points here. So let's look at the answer here. And as you can see, let's see, number. So we have CH4, which is good, dimethyl ether is second, methanol is third, and CaCO3 is fourth. So the solution is correct.